What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is actually a long time coming. It is actually the pickups video for Classic Game Fest 2019 in Austin, uh, as you saw from the other video that I posted recently. Now guys, uh, speaking of posting videos, uh, what I'm gonna try to do is actually have it to where it's like a weekly thing, maybe one video a week uh, possible. Uh, it may just be maybe one or two videos a month, uh, depending on my schedule. Now that's the reason why these videos have been taking a while to get out to you guys, uh, is because I'm working quite a bit. Um, now what I'm gonna be doing is actually showing y'all my pickups from that convention as well as uh, my pickups for that month. Uh, now I didn't really pick up very much um, other than just whatever I got, but also the pickups from August. Now August I didn't pick up very much either because I was actually pretty busy with work, uh, but I did uh, stop by a couple of my usual stops to check and see what they had. So I did pick up some stuff. So it's kind of gonna be a mix of um, July's pickups from the uh, Classic Game Fest as well as uh, my August pickups. So without further ado guys, uh, let's go and let's get started. So first up, uh, it's on the PlayStation, original PlayStation. Uh, it's one of my all-time favorite games. I used to play fighting games I used to play. Uh, now I remember playing this game with my uh, best friend and his uncles. Uh, we actually used to have little tournaments at his house, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it's uh, Tekken 3. Now it did take me a while to actually find a good copy of this game at uh, Classic Game Fest because of the fact that there was so many copies, uh, some of them with the green label, some of them with the black label. Uh, this was actually the best copy that I found. Um, and then also the disc was uh, in great shape as well. So I definitely wanted to get the black label on this one. Uh, this game definitely brings up a lot of memories for me from my childhood. Now if you guys ever played Tekken 3, you definitely want to get into it. Uh, it's a great game. Uh, next little set of games here I have is actually for the Sega Genesis and I picked up quite a bit of stuff for the Sega Genesis I was actually looking for a lot of this uh, some stuff I found you know it's kind of like oh there's that copy of that let me go go ahead and grab it see if it's a good price a lot of stuff that I got like I said in the video previous video was actually the day after uh, the first day of the conf uh, conference so a lot of this stuff was actually a lot cheaper than the original uh, Saturday that is uh, from the first day so first up uh, one of my all-time favorite um, arcade style basketball games it's a uh, college slam so let's see we can see that now college slam uh, really was a great game uh, just like NBA Jam that kind of stuff and I just loved playing those games especially with friends um, you know doing all the cool little different power-ups and moves you got to do and uh, of course you know whenever you got uh, some pretty good shots in you actually got on fire and everything like that and uh, I mean you know you got to do all kind of cool stuff so I'm definitely excited to have that in my little um, setup there uh, speaking of NBA Jam I picked up NBA Jam Tournament Edition Let's see if I can get a good little view there so basically, uh, I believe the Tournament Edition just has a little bit of extra features than the original uh, regular NBA Jam. Uh, so that's definitely another plus as well. Like I said, I really like the NBA Jam College Slam games. Uh, it just has a certain place uh, for basketball games, uh, all-time favorites from the old school generation of video games. Uh, next up, again, I played a lot of this when I was a kid. Uh, actually, um, actually, probably too much, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, it's uh, Paperboy. Now, I don't know if you guys remember Paperboy, but I remember it was one of the hardest games I ever played. Uh, see if I can get a good thing there. It was always uh, one of my hardest games I ever played. So uh, being that it may, now that I play it actually is a little bit easier, but it's still a little difficult to play there. I actually went live with the game uh, previously on the, on the uh, channel. So I don't know if you guys wanna go back and check that out, uh, but it was pretty fun. Uh, you're probably gonna have a laugh about me keep on losing and getting run over by cars and whatnot. <laughs> so uh, anyways, moving on next to the next uh, Genesis card that I picked up was Battletoads. Now this is the first one. Uh, never really played the first one, um, but I just want to collect all the Battletoads games. Uh, that's Battletoads, Battletoads of Dragon. Uh, I think it's Battletoads and Battle Maniacs, I believe is the second one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if you know more or less what the what the uh, different games are lined up, uh, put a comment in the comment section below, let me know. Um, I'm kind of curious to know. But I know it's, like I said, the first one I believe was Battletoads. Uh, and then I think it's Battletoads and Double Dragons, and then it's Battletoads and Battle Maniacs, I believe. It might be one of those two. So, next up is going to be, again, uh, this franchise on the, 
original, you know, Super, I believe it was on Super Nintendo, it was on the uh, Sega Genesis, if I'm not mistaken, um, or it might have just been a Sega only uh, game. But uh, the Mute League franchise, Mute League football is what I picked up. Now, I did see um, Mute League hockey at one of the uh, vendors there, but trust me, it was complete and it was pristine condition uh, and it was quite a bit out of my price range. But I definitely found Mute League Football and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pick this up because I know if I probably won't be able to find it anywhere in my area where I'm from. So definitely picked it up. Uh, love Mutant League Football. It's one of my all time favorite uh, football games from back in the day. Um, so that's a great little pick up there. Uh, next up is kind of a funny thing. Um, I have, all of the Sonics, uh, I think I just picked up Sonic 3 recently, um, So, but that was in box. Uh, now, I don't have the box for Sonic 2 or Sonic 1, I believe, or if it's, I gotta double check to make sure, because like I said, I've been trying to kind of catch up and, and, and go through my collection here. Uh, but I know for sure I didn't have Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, the case. Uh, and I actually found it pretty cheap there at the convention uh, so again <laughs> this is just a Sonic the Hedgehog case uh, no booklet just the case but now I have it in my collection and uh, I am thinking about uh, just trying to find all of them with the tags or maybe buying some new cases so that way whenever I do get the games uh, or the cases I can just hang up on my wall kind of have like a little uh, wall little I don't know poster, if you will, uh, on one of my walls here in my man cave, uh, just to kind of show off my uh, Sega Genesis uh, uh, boxes. So that's a pretty cool little idea that I have coming up real soon. So, all right, next up, I'm gonna move on to the Super Nintendo uh, games. 